is Luke, and welcome back to another Interbotics tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Interbotics MATLAB ROS API. This API provides high-level functionality through MATLAB. It sits on top of ROS so that you do not have to write any ROS code yourself. This video is going to be split into three parts. The first being a review of the Interbotics MATLAB API. The second being how to set up your workspace to work with the API. And finally, we're going to be running some demo scripts. So the source code of the MATLAB API can be found in the Interbotics XS modules package in the Interbotics ROS Toolboxes repository. These six files, MR descriptions, Robot Core, Manipulator XS, Gripper XS Interface, Gripper XS, and ARM XS Interface make up the primary modules for the API. Uh, as you can see right now, the MATLAB API is only for the X-Series ARMs, but plans to be expanded to the Locobots, Rovers, and Crawlers, and Turrets in the future. Uh, so like the Python API, we have these uh, higher level classes which build up smaller individual pieces so that you can control an entire robot. So in this case, we have the Interbotics Manipulator XS module, if you come over here inside of its constructor, you can see that it builds a robot core, an ARM interface, and a gripper interface. And so then it has those all under the umbrella of your Interbotics Manipulator XS module. So if you go into like the ARM XS interface object, uh, you'll see different functions uh, like ones that do forward kinematics, inverse kinematics, work with joint states, PWM control, all the sorts of things that you would need to do basic control of your X-Series arm. So now we're going to review how to set up your workspace. When you are running your install script, it will ask you if you want to install the MATLAB API. Saying yes to this will run this small piece of code here, which updates the Git submodules in the Interbotics ROS Toolboxes repository. Uh, this has the effect of downloading the Modern Robotics MATLAB Toolbox uh, so that we can run all of those forward and inverse kinematics and a whole bunch of different robotics functions. The next thing that you should do is open MATLAB and run this build ROS1 messages file. So MATLAB requires uh, custom message formats uh, to use in place of uh, the regular message formats. So we provide this helper script to make the process significantly easier for the users. You need Python 2.7 to build the messages, so we provide the option to do that. So for example, um, if you do not know where your Python 2.7 is, you can type which Python 2.7 into your terminal, and just copy and paste that into your function as a string. Next, you're going to run the MATLAB ROS setup. And this has the effect of adding all of the messages, modules, libraries, and any Python modules to the MATLAB path. So now we are going to demonstrate that. So I like to use MATLAB without the desktop, without the splash screen, just because it makes it a lot faster, a lot cleaner. So I'll just run that. Now I have a command line interface. So we are going to change our directory to the MATLAB demos file, or directory. Okay, if we hit ls, we can see all of them. So we're going to run this file. And this can take a few minutes. Okay. You see build succeeded. Done building the messages. You can now run MATLAB scripts using the messages. Make sure to restart. So we're just going to type exit. Open it back up. And we'll just copy our command from last time. So cd back to MATLAB demos. We're going to do MATLAB ROS setup.
Okay, and that succeeded too. So now we can run our scripts. So now that we've properly set up our workspace, we can actually run some of these MATLAB demo scripts. So to start, we're going to launch the Interbotics Access Arm Control script. We're going to specify our robot model as the WX256 degree. And because I do not have a robot on me right now, we are going to simulate it. Okay. And there's our robot. Now take the MATLAB. And we're working there, so we're just going to run bartender. You'll see it go through the process. We can follow along in the bartender script, actually. So this is very similar to the Python API. So we first close all figures that were open before, just in case any were open. We run ROS shutdown, uh, just to make sure that MATLAB has no nodes already running. If you try to start another MATLAB node while one is running, then you will receive some errors. So we instantiate our bot object, which is of the Interbotics Manipulator XS class providing the robot name, uh, the arm group name, and the gripper group name. And we go through several commands. So we set our EE pose components to x equals 3 and z equals 0 0.2, which moves the arm out of its cradle. And then we rotate the waist, uh, half pi. We open the gripper. So let's actually just run it again so that we can see everything that's happening. So move out of the cradle. Rotate the waist, open the gripper, move down, close the gripper, move back up, rotate the waist to the other side. We pitch forward, and then we pitch backwards. We rotate the waist back to where we were before, move back down, open the gripper, come back up, go to the home pose, and go to the sleep pose. And then once that's done, you run raw shutdown again, just to make sure that all of the nodes are closed, and then we stop timers. So MATLAB has a, a bit of a quirk with it. Um, it has timers that continue to run even after you've cleared all of the objects and cleared your workspace. So we provide this useful helper function, stop timer, just to make sure that timers don't continue to build up and then eventually slow down your MATLAB processes. And we can see that here. So gripper state timer stopped successfully. All of the gripper timers were deleted. And all of the manipulator timers were stopped and deleted. This tutorial should have taught you what the MATLAB API was, how to set up your MATLAB workspace, and how to use the basic functions of the MATLAB API. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something new today. We'll have links in the description below to any of the kits or hardware that you saw in the video. Remember, anytime any of that's purchased, it helps us as a company keep producing free content. Um, please feel free to comment in the comments below on things that you're interested in or questions you might have, or any ideas about future videos that you'd want to see us get into. We're always interested in seeing how we can help the community keep innovating. Thanks again for watching.